Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here again at the Haas School of Business with Francis Kendall, who is the digital strategy leader at Roche. Welcome, Francis. Thank you. So, Francis, you are in charge of digital strategy at a uh, pharma company, and pharma companies are conservative. Uh, they're slow moving in a lot of ways because they're highly regulated, and there's lots of bad things that could happen. Um, so why would they need somebody to think about digital strategy? Okay. So I'm in the, the product development area. So we haven't really thought about how do we use new technology. So digital strategy, we're to interpret it. How do you use things like sensors, uh, larger data sets, and employing those? And we haven't really done that in a coordinated fashion. So my role is helping to sort of target working with colleagues about when to use sensors to, to look at new disease endpoints, when do we access other data, real world data, and pull that together to give a, a more compelling picture of the evidence on our drugs. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, I think the goal in healthcare is to provide personalized medicine and to really drill down to uh, a segment of one with respect to uh, healthcare interventions and, and health maintenance and so forth. Um, so, what kinds of data? Uh, would a company like Roche want to get its hands on so that they could uh, do a better job of providing uh, more personalized uh, medications? So in personalized healthcare, we're re really thinking about the patient and putting the patient at, at the front. So really understanding the patient. So the more we can understand the patient in totality from their genomics to the clinical data and even to other data that may contribute towards their health and well-being, it's about how we access that data how the patient allows us to access that data for the, the well-being. So um, the clinical trial process is one that we typically use to illustrate traditional statistics concepts, right? You know, you have a very careful experimental design, you have a very carefully selected sample, and then you try to make inferences about what would happen if you then took this drug out into the general population. And data scientists Right, think in very different ways. They they think about the population in general. Right, they they think in terms of prediction. Um, experimental design is a little less important. Do you think there's a role for that way of thinking in clinical trials, or is the nature of the clinical trial going to be something which is um, more traditional in its approach? I think what we're finding across the industry is to to, to continue with the traditional approach, but supplement that with more looking at data science, at the prediction. So once our molecules are launched onto the market, finding out how they're working and using that the, the data sources, using data scientists to look at if there's predictive factors, can we identify subpopulations where our products are working better than in others so that we can have more targeted healthcare. Now in order for this to work, I think you need to have sort of a comprehensive view of, of the customer's or the patient's uh, medical journey. And, and right now, all of that information is in different places. So uh, how is the healthcare industry going to integrate all of this information uh, in healthcare records? I, I think there's a, there's a number of ways that we're, we're starting to look at it. So I mean, the, the healthcare industry is looking at, you know, some of the, the big healthcare providers are pulling the, the medical records together. That answers part of the problem, but that complete patient journey was still struggling with how do we get that patient data from birth, you know, all the way through their, their life cycle. So, you know, there's uh, some people like the MIT Media Lab were looking at med medical records and can we put that into a blockchain? Uh, you know, I think IBM are looking at blockchains as well. So that is one area. So I think what we're doing as, a, as an industry is thinking how can we enable the patient to have that complete set of data? and then we can, we can help use that to improve healthcare. Okay, Francis, thanks for coming in and talking to us. Okay, thank you.